Hi, I'm Greg Oaken, and I'm the chair of geography at UCLA. I wanted to take a few moments to talk to you about the end of uh, your time here at UCLA. Normally, we would be here at the back of Powell Library with chairs set up and a, and a stage and, and all of the faculty sitting in their outrageous uh, academic regalia like I have here. Um, but as we all know, these are not normal times. Uh, I sincerely regret the fact that we can't be together to celebrate the amazing amount of work uh, that you have done to get you to the point of graduation at UCLA and in geography, and the amount of support and sacrifice uh, that your friends and family have provided uh, during this time, during your entire time at UCLA. Ceremonies like this uh, are important, and the fact that we are not able to have one um, is really a shame. Um, for whether you're a first-generation student or whether uh, you've, all of your family, as far back as you know, has been uh, at universities and gotten university degrees, um, these are important times. Ceremonies like graduation, help us uh, mark transitions in our life. And they close one chapter and they start another. And they give us the opportunity to really celebrate our accomplishments during a certain time. I think one of the things that this pandemic has shown, shown us all, uh, is the importance of community. We notice it particularly in the absence of community. Unfortunately, since we've all been sequestered at home, we haven't had the community that we would like and we've been accustomed to. And if you're anything like me, you've been missing that. And particularly at a place like UCLA, our academic community is part of our family and uh, an important part of who we are. And I've been missing seeing students, I've been missing seeing colleagues, uh, I've been missing seeing staff, all of whom are important parts of our life here and who contribute to the Department of Geography and what a great place geography at UCLA is. I think the other thing that, another important thing that this pandemic has shown us is the importance of geography in the world. This coronavirus crisis that the, that the world is going through right now uh, has been inherently a geographical. The virus started in a particular place for certain conditions. It's moved across the world in various ways. It's impacted different parts of the world, different countries differently, depending on the, the conditions that are there. Um, it's impacted different parts of the U.S. differently. It's impacted different parts of California differently. So from the global scale all the way down to the local scale, to the regional scale, to the city scale, um, we see that geography is playing a really critical role in how this virus is spread and how it's affecting communities. Now more than ever, not just because of the coronavirus, but now more than ever, geography has an important role to play in understanding our world. There are humanitarian and environmental health crises um, that need a geographical lens. The world right now is also desperately in need of people who are dedicated to truth and who are dedicated to knowledge. Uh, today, as you get your degree here, you're being essentially certified as one of those people, one of those people who believes in truth and the importance of knowledge. The world uh, has been a scary place. You have persevered through conditions over the last two quarters that none of us ever could have expected. And we all dealt with it as best we could. I think I want to give everybody an especial thanks for your perseverance, your hard work, and your understanding during this difficult time. I understand how hard it's been. I understand how scary it's been. But the fact that you've gotten here means um, that you've really accomplished something even more than you might have accomplished 
uh, just getting your degree. Um, this has been an amazing test of character for us all, and I think the fact that you all are graduating now uh, has shown the quality of your characters. The world going forward is going to be a scary place. For months, we don't know how long. You're gonna go into a world um, that is full of brand new uncertainties. Uh, I want you to know that you are armed with uh, the best education possible in order to try to address these questions. And your background in geography should help you actually navigate this, uh, both in terms of getting employment, but also in terms of understanding the complex world of which you're a part. Now, I don't wanna make a big speech, and this would be a much longer thing, obviously, if we were uh, in person, but again, sadly, we're not. Um, however, let's continue with a little bit of the ceremony. Um, under normal circumstances, you'd be sitting in the chairs, uh, you would have your tassel on the right side, and at the very end of the ceremony, after we called you up and shook your hands and gave you your fake diplomas, which then you would trade in for real diplomas later, um, you would uh, be asked to stand and you would be asked to move the tassel from the right side to the left side to uh, signify the fact that you have graduated. Um, my hat doesn't have a tassel, so I can't do that. But I do um, want you to do that in a, whatever symbolic way is necessary for you and your family. I want to give you. I want you to give yourselves a pat on the back. I want you to give your families a pat on their backs. Your friends a pat on their back. Uh, nobody gets through college um, alone. Everybody requires support, uh, and you all have gotten amazing support. Uh, but that doesn't uh, diminish in any way the amazing work that you've done to get to this point. So, UCLA Geography Graduating Class of 2020, I wanted to wish you the best possible life going forward and give you uh, most sincere congratulations for me and the other faculty members in the department. Congratulations.